Hey there, Tom here. Bit of a random video, but I thought I'd do it anyway, just a bit of an experiment um, with the cost of living going up and, and things like that. I know a lot of people are turning to, you know, bin diving, dumpster diving or whatever you call it. And then also companies are sort of sort of getting on board this, uh, lack, you know, dealing with food waste. Uh, and people recommended to me to do um, things like free groups on Facebook. But today I'm going to try the uh, Too Good To Go app um and see what i can get really uh i'm going to try two things i'm going to try cold selection and hot selection so yeah uh i've, I've had a look on the app and there's a like a local garage uh that's got like a selection of goods and um we'll get that ordered and then the, we'll get a hot one ordered and see how we get from there Right, so I've just gone on the app and secured uh, and paid for the two items that I'm going to do. I'm getting a um, mystery grocery bag from a garage. And then I'm also getting a um, car, uh, uh, what's it called? Roast dinner trimmings. Uh, that's a bit, the the garage is like half a mile away and the the trimmings one is think about two miles away mile and a half something like that so obviously you've got to factor that in um the groceries were four pound 45 i think no four pound 40 and the um the roast dinner was three pound 29 uh, so i'm picking up the groceries first but then i've got to wait till nine o'clock like half eight nine o'clock to pick up the the hot food so uh, yeah, let's go and get that now. Right, so I went to go and pick this up and I, I started eating it and I completely forgot to record the video. So <laughs> apologies. So what I got in this um, is so random. So this this was full and obviously there's a sandwich missing there. So um, I got some milk, uh, two pints of milk, unfortunately it's dated today. Um, so it's used by as well, that's annoying. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm doing with that. Maybe I can, oh, no, nah, probably just drink it. Um, and then we've got a chicken salad sandwich, which is very tasty. I'll polish the other one off that in a sec. I had to pick it up about five o'clock. Uh, so not eating much today, so that was uh, good. Some plums, I've just had one of those as well. They're really nice, um, but there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They're, they'll last a couple of days. Um, sweet and smoky barbecue chicken pasta salad. Not sure what I'm going to do with that because um, it's not really my sort of thing. But that might it says used by today, but I might chance that tomorrow. We've got a peppered steak slice. I'm going to chuck that in the freezer. Um, then this is so random. We've got pepper pig um, muddy puddle cupcakes. It's like a baking mix. It's used by the end of November. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, and then the last random thing was, um, some toothpaste. <laughs> so if you look at the prices, so 175, uh, £2.25, so that's like £4.50, £5, you know, £6.20, uh, so eight um nine they reckon it was 12 quids worth nine that's not going to be three quid so i'd say it's probably around a tenner's worth not the best that you know that'll that'll be good that's a bit of a waste really probably you know I, I will probably eat it but you know um oh and then the sandwiches maybe it was 12 quids worth but it's pushing it a little bit so not too bad it's quite a selection the toothpaste is random um i expected lots of sandwiches and that sort of thing but that's good that that'll last a few more days um so we can bake some cakes at the weekend right so it's not too bad really um save that stuff going to waste really uh i think it very much depends on your area if you're in sort of more of a city area rather than rural or suburbia I think the rural and suburbia you're going to get more garages and gregs and that sort of thing. Also, if you've got dietary requirements, I imagine it could be quite tricky. I know there's certain things like that milk. I mean, I don't really drink milk. So, uh, you know, it's not, you, you just get what you get. 
But interestingly, uh, when I was there, there was someone picking up four bags in front of me from the same place. So it'd be interesting what they got. Um, so the app's fairly easy to use, actually. It's not too bad. Just sort of put your location um, and then you can see what's around you, really. Um, so I think, you know, uh, it, like I said, just depends on where you are. So I've got to wait a couple of hours um, and then uh, I think around half eight, nine, um, I can go and collect this uh, roast dinner. So I'm going to head down to my really freezing cold storage unit and do a bit of work there. And then on the way back, pick up um, the roast dinner and hopefully it'll be good. I've just picked up this. It cost me um, £3.29 or something, or £3.39. And I have eaten a piece of it already. It weighs over a kilo. <laughs> So, wow, I'll get that on a plate. Oh my goodness, I've already filled my plate and there's still half of it left. It's really nice. That's just unbelievable. There's enough there for, to feed two people. So, it's the next day. I didn't record a bit after I'd eaten that because I slipped into a food coma and couldn't get off the sofa. Um, that was one of the nicest roast dinners I've had in a long time. Um, the gammon was, it was just, a, it was, there was far too much for me there. That could have fed, fed two people at least. There was enough meat there probably for three people. Um, I did contemplate saving some of it um, for the next day. But I ended up eating most of it. Um, the mashed potato was spot on. Roast potatoes were a bit firm. But the the problem was I collected it at half nine. Uh, I think it was like 25 past nine. Which was right on the end of the collection time. Because uh, I got sidetracked. Um, doing some li uh, Listing some stuff on eBay. And I think that was a bit detrimental to the quality of the roast potatoes. I think they um, they got a bit hard. Uh, carrots spot on the other green vegetables really spot on the cabbage was good so yeah all in all at a five i'd give it like a three and a half considering it was like the three and a half to four the dregs at the end of the day you know it's in i thought it was just going to be potato 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 you know like just them scraping the ends of the potato and stuff so i didn't expect that much i certainly didn't expect that much meat so, yeah, very impressed. I mean, for £3.29, I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, you could, like I said, you could feed two people with that. Um, so, yeah, amazing. They did do a vegetable one, which was £2 something. I think it was £2.80 or something um, to, you know, vegetarians out there. But I imagine with the vegetarian one, the problem is you don't know if the vegetables have been cooked from frozen. So whether you could, like keep some of it for longer if anyone could think of ideas about sort of how to extend um the you know whether it's freezing or whatnot with some of this stuff uh it'd be interesting let me know your experiences in the comment section below if you've had a go with like either um, you know pick up this stuff for free off facebook uh groups or you know too good to go or anything like that. i'd love to, i'd love to hear people's experiences in the comment section and I thought I'd do this video because it's something a bit different. And as a reseller and a thrifter, I'm always looking for things cheaper and different ways. And also, it's such a, the food waste is such a problem. Um, so on reflection, I think that I'll, I'd collect it earlier and also I'd probably... Just just try a couple of different ones. I know the, the really good ones, they just get snapped up instantly. So you know if it's a good one, if it goes quickly. Uh, and if something's still on there on the end of the day, it's probably because pe people have had bad experiences in the past. Um, I probably won't be doing it all the time because I, I like to kind of feel like if someone's actually genuinely in need, um, that they might be using these apps and stuff to save money because they haven't got it and I you know I'm privileged the fact that my business is going well and, and whatnot that 
I don't have to, but it's just nice to try these different things. Also, I think if you're not sure what you fancy to eat that night, it could be an interesting experiment. Um, the other downside, I suppose, is you will often have to eat at unconventional times, like you'll be getting breakfast meals at 11 o'clock. Um, but, you know, if you're fine with that, that's cool. I mean, if I, I was a student still and that was about, I'd I'd be smashing that app all the time. Uh, because I wouldn't get up till like half 10 or something. So breakfast at 11, half 11 for like less than half the price. Fine by me. So yeah, good stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was vaguely interesting. If I do any more, I'll, uh, I'll probably document them, see what I get. Because it'd be interesting. It's kind of like mystery, a lucky dip. So let me know your experiences with these sort of things in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate a subscription uh, and smash that like button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.